this evening. Some litigants have expressed frustration over money and time lost due to the strike by the Judicial Service Staff Association of Ghana. They expect authorities to hasten the process of dealing with the issues that have led to the strike. But let me just say that uh, we're just getting information that that strike action has been called off. This is news just coming through that the JUSAC strike has been called, called off. But over the last 24 hours, let's take a look at how that strike took a toll on the work of the judicial service. The nationwide strike continues to affect court proceedings and other activities at the courts. The absence of the staff on the first day sent a signal to lawyers and litigants which has affected attendance to court because both groups are now aware of the strike. Unlike the first day which had litigants frustrated because they were unaware of the strike, they too had many of them not present, especially at the circuit courts, which on an ordinary day is inundated with numerous cases. Though judges are present in their chambers, they are unable to hear cases. Some litigants express frustration over the matter and called on authorities to speed up processes to get the workers back. My case, I have to go back to my house. Somebody is in my house and my things are packed outside there. The rain is beating my things every day. That's what is affecting me. So I want the court to come back and, and take everybody's case. Innocent people are crying there. What annoys me is uh, you have to pay the lawyer for him to come. I think on the, for his transport, that one, it is a must. But the fellow is here, and where's the thing still now? Stand still. The workers' refusal to call off the strike is a direct denial of the directive from the judicial service that the strike is illegal. The situation here at the law court complex is somehow different from the circuit court because here you can see some few people trooping in to find out exactly what is happening but obviously stranded because of the strike. But the judicial service staff think that they are on the right path whilst the judicial service, their employers, uh, believe that it is illegal for them to be on this particular strike. From the law court complex here in Accra, Godfrey Tanam for TV3 News.